What you doing, Vicky? I'm checking out something. Looks like there's something might be in that tree over there. The customer kind of warned us a little bit of ahead of time because he was all worried about me. Didn't want me to get hurt. Because you know, that happens to me a lot lately. Oh man, what do we got here? So this is what we got. We were warned about this. He said it was huge. That's huge. Oh, man. Pretty cool, though. Really cool. But I hate to say this. I really like this stuff because it does wonderful things. This is a whole can. Sorry, I don't know if you were looking at it or if I made it so you could see that or not, but I covered a whole nest. Because this is an Airbnb and there's always kids around. So what we'll do, and uh, the owner got stung, his uh, tractor is inside there that he mows all the fields and everything. You notice the chemicals just running off that thing. So um, we're gonna go out and mow this yard and we'll come back to it, but um, we'll probably about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and you won't see nothing there. And if you do, I'll spray it again. So, I think there's another one? There might be another one. Last year there was a nest down over here in the apple orchard, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is. You got a pond, you got apples, you got flowers, you got trees. There you go. Okay, we got our yard all mowed up here, which turned out really nice. Everything's looking really good this year. Getting just enough rain. Where their yard is looking really good this year. So it's been about an hour, something like that. And let's check out this nest. Not a soul. All done. All gone. So, that's why I love this stuff. I get this right from uh, pretty much any of the box stores that got this. Spectracide Pro. Love this stuff. Vicky, Come here. Are they dead? Yeah, they're all gone. I tell, uh, I told Vicky to bring the pruning shears so we could prune up the wasp nest, bee's yeah. nest, whatever it was. Well, yeah, because look, at these are in my way. So she's over here. Because they're in my way. She never can follow any direction, nope. any time. Tell her to do one thing, she does, does the opposite. Yep. And then when I want her to do, do something, I tell her the opposite, she still does that. It's like, it don't make any sense. Now, one of these days, this got to get sawed right off. Well, that's... Somebody's that's going to lose their head. I don't know why you're messing with this, because we got to go. It's 90 degrees, though. I know. Okay, let's go finish over there. Oh, my goodness. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go cut this now. Okay. As she's still cutting branches off. Just saying. Never listens. Oh. Ever. So we haven't done a Truck Talk Tuesday in a while, but it's Thursday. So I guess we're doing a Yard Talk Thursday or something. So this so. is what's happened in the last week. A week ago today, I got stung by a bumblebee. And my whole side over here 
because I was trimming and I think the bee flung up and it stung me right there. And what kind of bee was it? A bumblebee. About the size of a quarter? Uh, yeah, but the bee sting swelled my whole hip. I could put up a picture if you let me. No, and it took, it took three days for the redness and the swelling to go down. But what was amazing about it, it never itched. Now you get stung by a wasp and it itches for days. I give her a new pair of sunglasses and she's got them crooked ones all over her face. Oh, stop. Because, see, the other ones I left at home. So there you go. That better? No, it's not better. They're just a crooked. The glasses are crooked. Okay. <laughs> and she's got her hat all crinkled to death. Oh, yeah. Who cares? I'm in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Never ends. Never ends. So this will probably a little bit different style of video than you're used to from us, but you know, got to do so something different today. So now you just got to hope you don't get stung. I'm not going to get stung. Here, I'll let you hold the camera okay. and you get up really close to me. Okay, I'm going. I'm not getting stung though. You're fighting at the ground. Oh my goodness. Are you watching? You give me these great big old loppers too. Well, I got the little one. Oh my goodness. You got to have the correct tool for the job. Well, why'd you give me the wrong tools then? I didn't. I was using it for the right job in the apple tree. Uh -oh. There's one. That somebody got me. That's one in the nose. Well, that's your fault. You shouldn't have went there. It, you're pointing at the ground. Got me right there. Uh-oh, look at now you did it. Got Where's me. the spray? Got, got me right there. See, they're not all dead. Why'd you do that? I really pissed them off now. Oh, there yes, you, you did. I'm not getting stung. I don't want to die today. They weren't all dead. Well, no, there's probably thousands of bees in there. Well, oh, since yeah, I got look stuck, at how swollen it is. <laughs> look at I can see. And my eyes are just a water, and we're gonna leave that alone until next week. Look at how stingy there it's swollen that is. Holy smokes, you got stung pretty bad there. Let's go get this thing out. We're gonna try the driver's license trick because my eyes are gonna swell up. Vicky's gonna have to drive. It's a good thing I got beast stuff with me. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go Here, fast. take this. Let's go. Let's go. I was supposed to put those branches away. Hurry up. Can't believe he is playing with them bees. The bee always wins. Let me see this. Let's start up the truck. It's warm out here. Okay. Fun part's gonna be seeing where I'm at here. Here's some cortisone. Here's some cortisone. If you want to try oh boy, that looks nice. I like that. So see what happens when you're goofing around, screwing around with the bees, you get your ass stung or nose stung. 
So this is what we're going to do to get the stinger out and try to get some of the venom out. Usually works pretty good with the driver's license. Yeah, it stings a little. So, wow, eyes are watering. Well, like I said, never a dull moment when you follow us, that's for sure. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm sighing. Son of a gun, that stings. That's going to swell up for a while. <sighs> Anyhow. You know what? I'm gonna go knock them bees down yet. No, they're not. They're gonna lose. I got the stinger out. I got the quarter zone on. Here you go. You got it out? What did it look like? I don't know. I can't see that stuff. Remember, I can't even read nothing if I got my glasses on. Oh my God, he's asking for punishment. No, I'm not. They got, they got a goal. There's kids in that house. Yeah, I heard them. Um, don't get stung. We're standing back this time. Stand back, stand back. Oh yeah, they're still in there. <laughs> they're still in there. I see them. Yep, me too. They're going to really get pissed once that nest hits the ground. You better watch out when it hits. Uh oh, very flew away. Those don't those look like asshole bees. They are asshole bees. <laughs> Them the ones that get a hold of you just because. Oh my god. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been easier to get a rake? Well that's this is more fun. Oh my god, yeah, getting stung? Yeah. Fun this way. <sighs> Look at the size of that thing. I gotta get on the back side because they come out. So well, if you see one flying at you. Now that. Look at that one. wants to see me run that over with the lawnmower. No. Yes, I'm going to run that over. I'm going to run it over. <laughs> I'm going to run it over. Don't mess it up. He doesn't trust the way I film. But you know I'm getting better at this. I'm not sure how long it took them bees to build that. Actually, you know what? I don't see nothing moving, but that doesn't mean they're not dead. They're not dead? I said they could be not dead. I don't know. That's the end of our video today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Vicky's Outdoors and uh, the Sleeping Bear Productions. You never know what's next. Goodbye.